Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be working on putting in our uh, full-size bed in the back of our trailer. But one of the things that we did first was kind of did some research and figure out what is the best way to uh, secure our bed in our trailer. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go. Uh, you can go, you know, put some two by six or two by four across both sides of the, of the walls and then lay in your two by four or whatever lumber you have or you wanna use. Uh, but what I wanted to do was make this a little bit more versatile so that in the future, if we want to change things up or do something different, it'll be an easy transition. And what made this rack system um, enticing is that it's, you can literally remove these brackets out of the E-Track pretty easily. So these E-Tracks came from a Harbor Freight made by Hallmaster, and they are pretty known, pretty good brand for um, like trailer hitches and receivers and you know things like that. And so they also make these things called E Track, and these are 20 bucks um, at Harbor Freight. And these little two by four brackets are, you know, I think three or four dollars each, something like that. But <clears throat> fairly inexpensive option for you to be able to take things out if you want to. So for example, if you want to haul something in here so if you're not going camping but you want to be able to haul something like lumber or dirt bikes or whatever this kind of makes it easy for you to just kind of remove the bed and roll your dirt bike in here or whatever you have um, so that's why i went with this you know removable system so so these all the most important thing what is that oh my heater kicking on so one of the things that you know we made sure to do was locate all the uh, steel framing behind the wall. And what's funny is that the steel framing on this particular trailer is different from this side and the other side. So um, I thought it was going to be the same. Um, turned out it was a little bit different. Uh, so once you get the framing secured on the wall, then it's just a matter of making sure that the height on both sides is level. and off you go. <clears throat> so let me just show you guys um, my first piece of lumber here. Let me turn it around. So our trailer is 12 by six, and I'm kind of wishing that we would have got a seven foot wide versus a six foot wide, but you know, it is what it is for a $4,000 trailer. It was worth it. Uh, the extra foot would have been almost $8,000. So the four grand, brand new, made a lot of sense. So I cut a piece of lumber 67 inches wide, and this is gonna be a full, basically a full size bed. Uh, we did purchase a memory foam pad. My wife is cutting right now in the living room, and it basically hangs across each side. And as you can see, it's pretty level. Um, and you can you know, kind of figure out how you want the height of here. Um, so in our scenario, we're gonna be putting two beds here, one on the top, which is a full size, and one on the bottom, it's only going to be 24 inches wide for a kid or whatever but it's going to be sitting right above this trim piece and it's going to be pretty low low bed but it'll be functional you know for sleeping you don't need a whole lot so it's going to be 24 inches wide um so you know this is i think a good option for us this will allow us to sleep at least uh two on top you can maybe push three on top and then one on the bottom uh, worst case scenario, you can also throw a mattress out there, if, you know, for if you got friends coming over or whatever that want to join you. So, anyways, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna continue and get this thing figured out. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull four two by fours across. And then I bought some plywood, half inch plywood. We're gonna throw on top of that, um, and then we're gonna secure it all down. And then once the top is secured, we'll come back and secure and, and then put plywood on the bottom as well so that everything looks kind of you know finished luck if you will so anyways let's get started okay so now that we got our two by fours in here hope you guys can kind of see the the vision um the next step is going to be to get the bottom um brackets like this installed for the bottom bed um i got a five footer so i got to cut the bracket in half 
to accommodate the bottom one and then we'll throw down our plywood and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna uh, make this bed 55 inches. And if you guys have like a T-square, it'll just make this job a whole lot easier. Uh, one of the things I like about um, if you guys don't have one, if you guys got like a cordless, you know, saw and drill, it really makes this project so much easier. Okay, then I put a two by four under here so that I can rip my length without cutting into the two by four. All right guys, so for this particular process, uh, which is gonna be nailing down my plywood on top of my two by four I just installed, I'm gonna be using this Metabo, I'm not sure how you say it, Metabo, Metabo. Um, these, these guys um, basically replaced the Hitachi model of their tool, tool line. So now it's Metabo. Uh, this is um, a, a brad nailer, I'm using an inch and a half nail. The reason why I'm using this particular versus a screw, cause one, I got million st uh, staples and um if i wanted to take this out it's pretty easy to do because these nails are super small but yeah i can put a lot in here to hold things together and not waste screws screws are pretty expensive and these nails are pretty cheap so here we go <clears throat>
I just finished up the framing of the bed, both the, both the top and the bottom. Um, the last thing to do is we gotta trim it out, the top and the bottom. So let me just show you guys. This is uh, about 24 inches, uh, more like a camping style, uh, with plenty of room for you to you know move a leg around. Uh, ideal for a small person, I guess. And then this is kind of a modified full-size bed up here. Let me go around the other side. Okay. So this is what the back looks like. Like I was telling you guys, um, eventually this part right here will be covered up. I just put this back on there just to see how it looked. And then, um, but yeah, we'll get it all cleaned up and then get it painted. We'll get all of this trimmed out so it looks really nice, like a Pinterest style. Uh, we'll put the trim back on here. So I had to take all that off to find the studs, the steel studs on the, on the trailer. But anyways, yeah, this is pretty sturdy. Let me show you guys what the underneath looks like. And this all went on really easy and simple. And everything looks good and level. So yeah, I'm really excited. This should be plenty of room for our storage for, I don't know, whatever, like chairs, things like that. And this will be for the battery and all of our electronics and electrical will be on that wall. So I'll build a box for that here shortly. So anyways, this is what it looks like. All right guys, so we just kind of finished up the trailer. We um, got the bed in and tonight we're gonna go sleep in the trailer. Now Isabella hasn't seen it yet and Len decorated the trailer for us. It's gonna be an awesome surprise. Yeah, and mom got a surprise for me. Mama got a surprise for you. You got a surprise for you. Okay, you gotta close your eyes, okay? Okay. One, Again? Four, three. It's really good. What do you think, babe? It's so awesome. So wow. awesome. Look at our trailer and look at the fun fall decorations. For Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work right That's now. That's awesome. Oh, Are you ready to sleep in our trailer tonight? I'm done. Okay, I'm let me done. put you down. All right, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'm um, watching me put the bed together, and we're really excited to uh, get this trailer uh, to the camping mm -hmm. area. That we're we're Thank so you, stoked. It's yeah. almost there, and I think we're gonna have a good time yeah, sleeping in here down. tonight. So hope you guys will uh, like, like, share, share and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.